I swear on my life, you know what I'm gonna fight? Yeah, jujitsu. I will, I will fold you up, and I will wrap you like a pretzel. Brother. Ross Hamilton jailed after stabbing Ian Wright's boxing coach friend to death. The killer plunged a broken piece of glass from a bottle into Reese Newcomb's neck and then left the scene in a vehicle. A man who murdered a friend of ex-footballer and TV pundit Ian Wright has been jailed for life. Ross Hamilton, 34, had been spoiling for a fight and armed himself with a broken bottle before he plunged it into the neck of celebrity boxing coach Reese Newcomb. 31, a court was told. As Mr. Newcomb held his neck, he said, I'm dead, he's done me, before he collapsed. Hamilton, from Isleworth, West London, had relished the opportunity for a fight and threatened to jujitsu the F asterisk 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 out of people in the street earlier, the old Bailey heard. He was jailed for life with a minimum term of 19 years on Friday. The court heard Mr. Newcomb's partner Alicia Smith, who was in the early stages of pregnancy, had rushed to hospital. Not only has she had to deal with her own grief, but she has had to do that through her pregnancy and the birth of their second daughter who will never know her father, the judge Anthony Leonard Casey said. Karate kicks on dance floor. In court, prosecutor Louis Mabley Casey said that before the stabbing in the early hours of 26 November 2022, Hamilton seemed to be goading people in Richmond's Viva nightclub, in southwest London, doing karate kicks on the dance floor and putting his arm around people and behaving aggressively towards them. Hamilton, described as a bald man, continued to act aggressively after the club closed and people spilled outside. Mr. Mabley said he began confronting people and goading them to go and fight him down an alleyway. He said, in his words, I will jujitsu the F asterisk 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 out of you. In short, the bald man was spoiling for a fight. The court also heard Mr. Newcomb had gone to the same club where he became intoxicated and had a good time. The pair had earlier been watching England play the USA in a World Cup game being screened in a fan zone in Richmond Park, although had not interacted. Tragic decision. Hamilton's behaviour led to him assaulting another man outside the club, police said. He stayed there for another 30 minutes, aggressively taunting security staff and others waiting for taxis outside the venue. Shortly before 4 a.m., Mr. Newcomb intervened and made the tragic decision to engage with Hamilton, who had already armed himself with a piece of broken glass, jurors heard. Mr. Malby said the altercation on Richmond Bridge was fueled by th intoxicated aggression and Hamilton's decision to arm himself changed everything. After the stabbing, Hamilton left the scene in a vehicle but handed himself into police two days later, the court was told. The Metropolitan Police said he tried to square up to a number of people in the run-up to the murder, and choosing to hide a broken piece of glass was an indication of the level of premeditation in his actions. Reese was simply out having a good night with friends, Detective Inspector Kevin Martin of the Met Specialist Crime Command said. He had recently become a father and had so much to look forward to. Hamilton was a stranger to him, yet his senseless violence took Reese's life. Previous convictions it also heard Hamilton had a violent streak which first led to a conviction in 2014 for punching a taxi driver on the side of the head in an argument over a fare. He received a caution in 2018 for hitting a girlfriend in the face, causing her to fall to the ground. And two years later, he was convicted in Spain of hitting another partner in the shoulder with a bottle, kicking her in the stomach and pushing her to the ground. Hamilton, who is unemployed, had denied murdering Mr. Newcomb, claiming he acted in self-defence. The court was told Hamilton had a difficult and unsettled childhood and had shown remorse in a letter to the judge before he was sentenced. Hamilton was also handed for months in prison after being found guilty of assault by beating another man. That sentence will run concurrently with the life term.